Right now, you know, addiction is a real problem and recovery is a real solution. I'm going to introduce you to Ron Smith. He was an addict and he was homeless on the streets of Sacramento for more than a decade. Now he shares his story about how faith helped him overcome his struggles. Take a look. From homelessness to holiness, from drug addiction to Holy Ghost conviction. This is Ron these days, but for years, Ron battled demons of drug abuse, alcohol abuse, and homelessness. And it's a struggle. People want to stop. I wanted to stop. On my way to, I can remember, on my way to getting some drugs, I didn't want to go. But it's an addiction at that point. And I just couldn't turn around. Matter of fact, I would throw up. And the only way it can stop is to take that first hit. His wake-up call came from his mom. And I knocked on the door. She normally would let me in and shower, get something to eat. This day, she didn't. She opened the door with a chain and said, you can't come in here. And that's when he started his journey to recovery and finding his faith. Knowing God is not just praying and hoping something happens. I often say, you know, you have to pray and then take responsibility. Because if you have both the spiritual dimension and the evidence for like what drugs do to the brain, which you can't find in the Bible, then you are more successful. After he got clean, Ron got his bachelor's and then his master's. Now Ron works as a substance abuse professional, helping others overcome their demons. He's been clean now for more than 20 years and offers advice if you know someone who is struggling. Find out all the drug programs in the area, detox, residential, outpatient, know where they are get the phone numbers, talk to some counselors, understand their program and what, how, that, how it works. So then when that loved one calls and they say, I'm ready, then you can say, well, there's a program I can take you to. I can come pick you up. Andy says, prepare for the tough days, but know that you are not alone. And we have to know without, you know, even in the midst of turmoil that God is on our side.